Okay, so despite the fact that uh, I had printed three different bases uh, based on what is the uh, type of uh, film, Instax film, that we want to use, I have with me only one uh, upper body. So uh, I'm going to do this one step by step and you will just see the final part when we are going to put this one inside. Uh, the camera and uh, all of this operation as mentioned uh, in the uh, previous part of the video will be done in complete dark so in my case I'm going to use this changing bag and I will remove my smartwatch again remember to remove your smartwatch that is extremely extremely important things because the light coming from the smartwatch is going to ruin your film here we are, uh, almost a minute in order to do that. It's secured with band, rubber band, with the dark slide here. It's a square and we are ready to use it. Again, uh, it's easy uh, to do that, but uh, try to make some practice with daylight and already developed uh, film so that you can be used to do that. Remember, again, Remove your smartwatch, I made the mistake in the past, and remove the batteries from your camera so that when you close it, uh, you don't have anything that would be ejected. So what we have to do now, we just put inside and uh, we go to take our picture. And let's see how is it. So uh, what we are going to shoot now is uh, this little uh, rules. Uh, I have with me a small light meter that I'm going to use to measure and we said that our F, our ISO is 800. We are going to shoot at 5.6 And it says the speed will be uh, 160 of the second. So we set it up for 160 that I don't have. So the closest one is uh, 125. Okay, we are ready. What we have to do, of course, we have to focus. And there is a minimum focus distance necessary for this, of course. Let me try to be a little bit closer. Okay, that should be okay. And we shoot. Sorry, we have to. Uh, what is it? Yeah. We have to pop the film. And again, let me be sure that, okay, it's in focus. Done. So what we are going to do now is going back, move this film into the uh, camera, Instax Square camera, and uh, simply develop. So we need to put the film back uh, in the Instax Square camera. And in order to do that, uh, of course, it will be done in uh, complete dark. But what we can do is to put back the initial dark slide. So we took the, the picture, we open, and let's put back the dark slide. Okay, let's put the rubber band. And we're going to move to the dark bag, changing bag now. On off. And we need to shoot. Remember that if we are going to shoot the film and there is no dark slides, the film will be impressed. So we are going to cover the lens and we will take
and now we just have to wait. Okay, so the next one, uh, this is the result, how it's coming out. There is probably some light leak. I don't know if it's on this camera or if it's an issue uh, with the, uh, the film itself, I probably it's old. So what I have done, I have taken uh, the white and I will transfer here and see what is the results. And again, we cover the lens. And have our film ejected. And now we just need to wait. For reference, what we are going to do due to this a little bit too white uh, failure print I want to test it out uh, if uh, the Polaroid how it's going to perform again And we are going to shoot the same subject and check it out how is the final result. So we have uh, utilized uh, the Polaroid now. I already changed everything and now we will. This will be the difference between the one taken with the FP1 and this one taken with the Polaroid 320. And I have used the, as mentioned, ND4. Okay, so one last test with uh, again the Polaroid and uh, let me we are going to cover the lens Uh, so you saw the uh, different results that we uh, we got. We had some issues uh, with the uh, FP100. I have to double check what's exactly the, the problem. If you have any suggestion, please let me know in the comments below. But uh, at the end, uh, we can say that uh, uh, it's a good result what we have uh, uh, obtained. Uh, here. So I'm more than happy that, uh, uh, again, to repeat these uh, uh, files can be uh, downloaded for free in the links below, uh, so you can print and use with your uh, preferred uh, pack film camera. Uh, if you like the video and if you feel like this uh, uh, stuff that I have created is useful for you, I will really appreciate if you can share the video, like it, and subscribe to my channel. That for sure will help me move forward and uh, try my best with uh, uh, new uh, builds for uh, uh, camera related stuff.
Also, if you are interested again in the uh, Labist's uh, ET4, I will leave the, the link uh, uh, in the description below. And it's an affiliate link, so as usual, for you it's not changed the final price. For me, it's helping with a small commission to um, grow the channel itself. Okay, that's all for, uh, for me for today. Uh, have a nice... Uh, shooting with your uh, replacement for uh, pack film uh, cameras and uh, I'm really curious to see uh, what you have done with the Instax wide, Instax square or Instax mini. I didn't have mini with me available now to test it out so let me know in the description below put your links for your uh, to your portfolio your home page and uh, I would be more than happy to check it out with you guys. Uh, that's all. Uh, till next time, as usual, stay click. Bye.